Oh. Uh, so this is a new project that I'm starting. This is the box of ghoul vials from Fallout Season 1, Episode 4, I think? The ghouls? It's the one where he ransacks the uh, Super Duper Mart. Uh, actually, he doesn't. Lucy does. And he just sort of reaps the benefits with a big box of vials. So I got a box. Uh, I don't know size-wise how big it is dimensionally, but I went with what feels about right. This is about 13 inches wide. I have a feeling it might be a little bit bigger than the on-screen version. I started cutting out some of the brackets that go on the sides and stuff. Here's what I have as far as contents. Got a whole bunch of the 10 milliliter vials. These are as screen accurate as I believe they are with the membrane top and the rounded sides and stuff. So far as I can tell, there's at least seven different types of containers in the box. So I got a whole bunch of them. A couple more here, more down here. This is just mouthwash, but it's that perfect dehydrated pee look. And then for some of the pills, I just got like mints and Smarties and stuff. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, a couple hours later, did the border, rivets. Rivets are cut out of a piece of vinyl. Now I gotta sand it and then fill it, I guess. Paint it. What else do I have to do? Sand it, paint fill, yeah. All right, so update. Uh, I got the box all weathered and painted. Added uh, a couple more hinges because the uh, original ones were kind of chintzy. Same thing with the, the locks on the front. The on-screen version actually shows like three attachment points, or at least it looks like it. So I added those other two clips on there also. And the inside is kind of reddish brown. I think it matches pretty well. I mean, the brackets and stuff aren't exactly correct since your focus isn't gonna necessarily be on the box specifically, but all the stuff inside of it. So, so far as I can tell, there are a bunch of different bottles in there. And there's the 10, millime uh, the, the 10 milliliter bottles. There's the thinner one with the rounded edges and the membrane top. There's the little bit more squared off version. There's a blue 20 milliliter. I think it's 20 milliliter. I forgot how many dram this is, but it's also blue. 20 milliliter with yellow pills, smaller pills. There's These are supposed to be white, but they're actually blue. I didn't know that. These are the, the larger ones, and then those are the smaller ones. This is the inhaler. I just whipped this together, so I didn't really have any work in progress pictures. I think I took one, but uh, this right here is from a fuel injector gauge, I think it's called, but I'm pretty sure this is the exact one from the show. The membrane bottles fit in here just fine. There's a little bit of spring tension here that I, I put in a little follower so that uh, the, it'll hold the bottle in place. Um, yeah, so now all I gotta do is fill up all these bottles. There's all the other 10 milliliter. I got mouthwash, the pea colored mouthwash. Oh, and this. Push down and turn. I found these bottles, but that's exactly like that top is in the box also. It doesn't show outside of that, but again, I got the, the correct one. Oh, and a notebook. There's a notebook that goes right there, presumably to fill orders. So you can see that there's two little clips on it. Presumably pens to write shit down, but I got pencils because I use pencils. There's a couple of little random bits like some brown paper that's crumpled up and in the wide shot there's a big huge bottle with like red and white pills. I don't I don't think I'm gonna do that because you can't really see that in the narrow shots. But yeah, that's that's it for now, so stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so I got all the uh, vials filled with mouthwash, oral antiseptic, whatever they call it. What do they call it? Antiseptic mouth rinse. Got all the uh, bottles painted and filled with pills. Um, these kind of sell as if they're white pills. These are the purple ones, the purple Smarties. By the way, I hate Smarties. I think they're disgusting. Um, and uh, fortunately, I used all of them up in this, so I didn't have to eat any. These are the little tiny Mintia breath mints. I split them up because they don't necessarily have to fill the whole thing. Altoids, I got the, uh, the little E. I wanted to make all of the stuff shelf stable. The self-sealing bottles, that was easy enough, but these, I wasn't entirely sure if I was gonna be able to keep them airtight, so I epoxied them all shut. Here's a good one. 
yeah, so I just used clear two-part epoxy to glue the whole thing shut. Like, all of these are all glued shut. The ones that uh, don't have the E on it, you can actually see that there's no E on it. The blue big pills, there's no E on it. And these, it doesn't really matter what's in these because you can't really see it anyway. All you see is that, and on top of that, it's orange. So I put, like, some of the colored ones in here that didn't fit in the other ones. There's, where's the multicolored? Here's one of the multicolored ones. You can sort of tell that there's multicolored, but again, it, it doesn't matter what's in these. The varieties that you can definitively see. You can see that there is one of those. You can see that there's one of those. You can see that there's one of those. You can see that there is one of those. And blue bottle. Where is it? Clear bottle, yellow pills. Blue bottle, big pills, or clear bottle, I mean, clear bottle, little pills. I mean, the vast majority is the, uh, the bottles and the vials that have the pea color in it. But antiseptic mouth rinse wasn't as strongly colored as I had hoped they would be. These look a little pale compared to the actual ones used on screen, but they'll look fine because when they're all stacked together, they kind of shade each other, so they all appear darker. But like the ones that are going to be in the cigarette box, those are going to end up looking a little pale. By the way, I got a couple of, of uh, vintage cigarette boxes coming. I found the exact one that's in the show, and I'm really super stoked about that. That's a thumbs up, by the way. So, stay tuned. Why do I say stay tuned? That's that's an old term. Don't say that anymore. Just say keep watching, because this is all going to be in the same video anyway. So, blah, blah, blah. Smells like a grandparent's bathroom in here. <laughs> Here's the ghoul box. Box of vials and pills. Drug box. I don't know what you want to call it. I'm calling this one done. I've done a lot to it. Mostly just trying to get the damn color right on these vials and the, the stuff inside of it. Uh, there's a couple of different colors, which I'll get to. But really, the, the pills came through pretty quickly. Same thing with the, uh, the bottles and stuff like that. Uh, there's some scraps of what looked like brown paper bag in there, but this is still relatively the same stuff that I showed off earlier. It's just that it took me forever to get the color correct on these. So I also did the red and white pills. It's pretty visible when you're going through the overhead shots. When he pulls it off of the couch, you can see it fly off. This stuff is actually pretty easy to come by. You can actually get like gelatin caplets and stuff with nothing in them. And that's what I did. This is 100. And I happen to have the bottle already, so this one was actually pretty easy to do. I actually want to get into everything that's in here. There is quite a few. I think I ended up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 if you include the red and white pills. But 9 different varieties of uh, medication. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I really like the way that looks, This the, the chaos of it, but at the same time, very carefully curated chaos. There's a joke in there about that being the name of, like, a swing band or something like that <laughs> from, like, 1997. <laughs> uh, the notebook and the pencils I already talked about, but I went through, and when I was doing the measurements for the plasma cutter, that's where I wrote everything down, and then... What was that? Ghoul barrel? Yeah, that's for the, the ghoul gun and stuff like that. But I actually used it so that there's some real notes in there. Not that it matters if it's real or not. There's there's stuff that's written in there that's useful. That's that's all I was getting at. The e-sticker is pretty easy to pick out. I don't know what that means or what it's for, but it's there. Really, this is just an excuse to uh, ramble while rifling through this stuff. You can still smell it. It still smells like antiseptic mouth rinse. <laughs> This is the, uh, the sample container. All the different varieties of stuff that I had. Uh, I already talked about most of this, 25 milliliters, nine dram, and how many dram? Doesn't matter, anyway. But the, the 10 milliliter comes in yellow. It comes in kind of a peachy color. It comes in dark amber or orange. And then I think this one was one of the peachy ones also. I have a whole bunch of these 7 milliliters. I wasn't entirely sure when I was going through the uh, identification process if this was 10 milliliters or what, and eventually I settled on 10, but in the process I ordered a bunch of the 7 milliliter ones. 
So in the process of trying to get this end result, I had to fill these like three or four times. Originally the uh, the mouthwash, it didn't look good at all. It just looked like pale, mostly hydrated pee instead of the dehydrated pee that I was looking for. So I had to basically use a little pipette dropper to fill all of these. And then once I realized that was, you know, insufficient, again, I'd dump them all out, arrange them, rinse them out and stuff, and basically just start over again. And eventually I settled on this color, and then I realized that they weren't actually all that color. <laughs> so I had to dump everything out again, buy some new mouthwash just because they were it was already tinted. And then I ended up with the kind of the peachy look, which I realized was still not correct. And there were some elements that was actually yellow, yellow. Looking at the box and some of the, uh, the screenshots that I took, I don't know if it was because one bottle was in front of a white background or a blue background or a yellow, but either way, some of these looked yellow, some of these looked orange, and it was kind of like, how do I decide? Until I realized that, like, I have hundreds of these things. And so I'll just make a couple of different variations of the ones that I saw, which is how I ended up with very orange for the ghoul vials in particular because they're the ones with the, the membrane top and you can see it in broad daylight and then the peachy and the yellow which is the different varieties of the stuff that I had determined later on. So that's how I ended up with four different varieties of this stuff. Actually this is all the same as this stuff so three different varieties of the stuff. Quick note in the scene with Roger they, they show these it's empty a whole bunch of them but they have labels on them and that's the only place where you see the bottle that has labels on them. I've seen some of the people recreating the version with the labels, but they're literally not seen anywhere else, just in that one scene. I don't really have a whole lot else to say. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> it's going to sit off to the side somewhere. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's there. I have it now. I can die in peace, and all is right with the world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just close it up and stick it on the shelf. It's a lot of violence. It's a lot of violence. It's a lot of violence.